Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever been manipulated by someone? Have you ever manipulated someone to get what you want? It's a very subjective concept, but it all boils down to someone changing information for their benefit. Now, the majority of us aren't out here deciding to manipulate everyone, but do you do anything manipulative without knowing it? Let's take a look at manipulative tendencies to see if you're being unintentionally manipulative. Number one, the I just tell it like it is friend. A lot of the time, this common phrase means I'm gonna say whatever I want and that's okay because I'm being honest. Are you frequently blunt and honest, even if it's mean to the other people? This is a common manipulation tactic. Cruel humor and highlighting others' known weaknesses or insecurities are ways manipulators make someone feel bad about themselves. They may not do this intentionally as they may believe they're just blunt and honest. Showing these types of actions can be a sign of manipulation. Number two, you're always going to them. Any form of connection will only thrive as long as meaningful time is spent nurturing it. Whenever you hang out, who goes to who? Are they always coming to you? Are you always going to them? When one person is insistent on being in a familiar situation, it suggests that they wanna be able to control the situation. If they were to come to your home, they would be in unfamiliar territory on many different levels. This same person may also be showing signs of social anxiety. Even though they may have a valid reason for not wanting to come over to meet at one of your spots, it is still manipulation to not outright discuss something. Number three, you change to get along with different groups of people. Do you change your values or the way you act around different people? A good example of this is John Tucker in the movie John Tucker Must Die, where John Tucker is dating three different girls. When John is on a date with the tree hugger activist, he throws a fit at a restaurant that serves meat, claiming they torture animals. He takes another girl to the same restaurant on a different night and he orders a juicy steak. He changes his values and everything else about himself to align with what his date wants to see. Now, this is definitely intentional in his case, but it may not be the same for everyone. Some may do and say they wanna make good first impressions or that they just wanna fit in. Sometimes this is totally innocent, but it could be manipulation if taken too far. And number four, you put a spin on information that you pass on. A 2009 study found that people who receive information will embellish it to mislead those who need to hear this information. This can be to make the manipulator feel more important by withholding information or changing it. So, do you relate to any of these or think these apply to someone in your life? Manipulation is something that slips under the radar very easily. It can be so subtle we don't even know if we do it. Do you think we missed anything? Is there anything you wanna work on? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in it too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, until next time.